What is going on guys, Blaze and Tiger here, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to install Intel HD graphics drivers on a KB Lake chip in Windows 7. Let's get right into it. <laughs> So as you may know, Intel um, HD graphics uh, drivers do not work on Windows 7 when it comes to the KB Lake chip, but we can fix this. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Intel's actual site and find here, as you can see, on 7th generation Intel Core processors, yada yada yada, it only supports Microsoft Windows 10. Now this is bullcrap. Download the latest zip, go to desktop and extract it. This is what you're going to be left with. Okay. Go to graphics. DLH. You're going to look for IGDLH64. Double click. Open. Easy. Maximize. Now, what you're going to need, sorry, I'm going to speed through because this is my fifth time trying to record this. You're going to go to device manager, which you'll find by just going down here. Device manager, and it'll pull this up. As you can see, I still have some uh, drivers that need to be installed because this is a fresh install. But right here, under display adapters, it'll say standard VGA adapter. Now, this is what you want in the end, or whatever kind of card you have. You can just go to Properties, Details, Hardware IDs, and take note of the dev number. In this case, it's 5912. Close it. Now go back here, edit, find, and type in your dev number. Find next. As you can see, it actually appears on Windows 7 because I've done this. So we're going to delete this because we don't need it. We're just going to go down here, and we're going to find it again. You don't delete anything. I'm doing it because I actually have done this earlier, and I like it didn't work the recording wasn't recording so I had to delete that but this is what you'll see 5912 under Windows threshold install W10 I KB Lake now copy this entire line here Go back up to Windows 7 install DT only enter control V click here just back it up now you're going to change this to W7 and change this to SKLB. Close it, save, and back twice. Run the setup. And as you can see, the setup will pull up normally. Now once you're... Um, I'm not going to run the setup because it crashes OBS, but you will find that um, it'll pull up saying, are you sure you want to install this driver software? Just install it anyway. It's safe, I can assure you. It's straight from Intel themselves. You just had to edit a few things to get a few things to work. You know, click install anyway, and to prove to you that I have installed everything, we're going to go up to my unsafe theme up here. And boom, arrow. All the arrow effects work. It's a bit laggy because, you know, reasons. But arrow works perfectly. Everything works fine. You can see everything through everything. Come over here. You can see it's got the whole glass thing. Uh, but, yeah, that's about it. Um, if you enjoyed this video or if you found it informative in any way, please leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe because I have a bunch of other tutorials on here about certain USB things such as like restoring uh, your full storage after a corruption or a broken write. But this has been uh, Blaze and Tiger. It is around 5 o'clock in the morning and I'm recording. But anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Side in the all black crowd.